Double sausage uh, McMuffin meal, please. Yeah, anything else? That's it, thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Right, just skating through Newton Abbott now. Got the breakfast. Heading to the train station now. line like if there's something in front of it like signaling signals or something is broken so they, they can't operate any trains g-wagon and it's a brabus uh i might just skate through regents park for a bit try to get there in time skate in london never done this before Baker Street. Hopefully, we can get there in time now because uh, it says it's really busy. Hopefully, the Hammersmith and City cycle is fixed. The, whatever the problem was, was with it. Doesn't seem too busy in here, but obviously, you never know. Pretty much right now, I'm on the tube. Um, mad delays. I'm probably going to miss the appointment. Hopefully, they just let me come in. Obviously, I'm going to run. I'm sweaty as shit. I made it. I did it. I came all this way for what they said was going to be a 15 minute appointment, but it actually took five minutes. Literally, all I had to do was hand them a letter. And then for them to take my photo and I made it to the appointment. I was five minutes late, but um, when I got in, the guy was like, it's fine. And I'm quite surprised to be fair, because all got, it's all like passport immigration stuff. I thought it'd be like, no, 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 like you have to be on time. But there was plenty of people waiting in the, in the waiting room. Um, the appointment itself literally took five minutes, not 15 minutes. But yeah, so. I just came down to this local bit of park, greenery. Just to chill out for a minute because 
that was one of the most stressful things I've ever done. Um, may not seem like much, but if you think about it, tomorrow was my deadline to submit my biometrics. If not, I'd have to redo everything again. Um, and this process, isn't, I've invested hours and hours into completing forms and, and submitting everything and doing all the online filling out and just it just has taken so long not to mention um, the actual selection process because for a Canadian working visa um, the IEC it's International Experience Canada uh, some sort of working visa anyway for that it's like a lucky dip like a, a digital pick it out of a hat so um, yeah I got lucky to be chosen because there's only a limited amount of space like 5,000 and when I went on to apply, there was only like 3,000 left. So that's how big of a deal it is. Like just getting to work in Canada is very, very difficult. Um, I've done it, at least I hope so. The reason I was late um, was because when I got straight on the tube, Hammersmith and City Circle Line or whatever, it's the pink, pink one. It had a delay because the signaling for the tubes wasn't working or something. So then the trains couldn't go through. Um, so then I was like, oh, sod this, like, I'll, just, I'll just skate a bit of the way and then hop on the Metropolitan. I went to Regent's Park, kind of like um, left and then straight down and then I went to the next tube station and I just missed that uh, tube. And then I was waiting for about 20 minutes and on the board it said four minutes, but for the entire time I was waiting it still said four minutes and I was there for 20 minutes on the platform. So I was like, oh, like, I'm gonna be late. So I went to Great Portland Street tube station um, and then I hop, I managed to get on the tube there and then got off at Moorgate it was then an eight minute walk to the Canadian VFS they do like lots of different visas and immigration stuff apparently um, it was an eight minute walk from there obviously I ran and skated a little bit got there five minutes late but luckily they let me through but yeah that's that's what's happened what I'm gonna do now is I've got um, I've got four hours now to kill. Four hours I need to be back in Paddington, so call it three hours. Um, I need to go eat. I need to buy a new pair of shoes because if you look at these shoes, they're very worn down. Like, I wear these to work and most days at school and they're just so worn down. Also, the be bench is broken. I felt fat sitting on the bench, but I'm not. It's just, I think it was, well, I think the bench was already broke, but yeah. You get new shoes and a new t-shirt because this is soaking wet and I bet I really smell. So, yeah. I've just got a few hours to chill out now in London. London and chilling out doesn't really work together very well. Six hours on the train there and back in total um, for five minute appointment. Great, but it's worth it because I'm gonna work a ski season. I'm, I'm gonna, it's my dream. It's my dream to work a ski season, and that's what I'm doing. So yeah, on that siren. See you there. I'm getting close